Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to store the lines entered by the user into a string array. So I'm going to start off by using the data type string and square brackets to indicate this is an array and I'm going to call my array a reference string array. I'm not going to give it a new size yet until I know the number of lines that will be entered by the user. Once we do, I'm going to now create an instance of the array and I'll give it the size number of lines. Okay, now the other thing is since we are storing the lines entered by the user into a, an array, we no longer need that um, string variable of multiple lines. A um, few things that will change in the end, I'm also going to tell the user how many lines they've entered and what those lines are. This is why we won't be needing this loop here. Now, since those conditions are both the same, I'm also going to get rid of one. And I was supposed to get rid of this message a long time ago when I switched into using for loops, but sorry about that. Um, another thing that I would do is, yeah, I don't need this message anymore. Here, what we need to do is once the user um, enters a line of text, um, I need to actually loop through my array to store each line at an index. So assuming that the user will enter those lines, then what we need to do is actually loop through the array so that each time a line is stored into an index of the array. So to do that, I'm going to use a for loop and I'm going to give the name of my index as raw because what we want to say is that this raw store this line and this raw store this line and later in, fu in the future, I mean in the next um, couple of steps which we'll do is we are going to then loop through each index of this line to separate our digits from the letters and so we can call this a column so think of this as a column index so this is why I'm going to give this na name raw index and I'm going to start from zero and when this is less than number of lines, so when we reach number eight, so like we got there, from zero to seven, then increment by one each at each round. So then what we do in this for loop is we want to store this at this index. So at zero, then one, then two, then three. At this index, we want to store uh, using our uh, next line method from this uh, the scanner reference that we created earlier and we've done that in earlier videos um, so what we want to do is store whatever the user enters so the first line will go at index 0 the first line will go at index 0 then the, the, the loop will increment by 1 then the second line will go at index 1 and then so on until we finish entering or the user finishes entering the lines. Next what we want to do for that particular line now we want to store the number of digits and, and and letters. So I'm going to cut this condition and place it back into here but notice that we don't have multiple lines anymore and we don't have index so what we want to do is we want to loop through this line so at string array raw index when it's for example 0, 1 or whatever line is whatever index we are looping through and that particular index we need to create another loop to loop through each letter so this is why I'm going to call my second um, or nested loop um, variable I'll call it column index and then for each in index we are going to search if this is a column or a, a number and if it's a number, we'll store that in our number array. And if it's a character, we'll store that in our character array. Exactly similar to the way we've done in previous videos. I do have to make a few changes though to, instead of saying string uh, multiple lines, I'm going to actually, sorry, instead of saying multiple lines, I'm going to actually use my string uh, index, uh, string array. So that's the first change. Now the second change would be the index. And so I need to actually create a nested loop so that we can loop through each index or so each line. So I'm going to call this column, um, first I need to actually declare it, integer column index. And I'm going to start from zero. 
and that's going to actually stop when this the length of that raw finishes so I'm going to use the length method to access to access that okay uh, sorry uh, plus plus something went wrong there I'm just going to format my document okay so it seems like I've got an extra arrow there a uh, bracket okay so once we do that now I'm going to just close my loop after the, after the conditions and format my document. And then instead of saying index, now I'm going to use column index. So what's happening there is uh, initially this is user input. That's stored at index at each index of the array. Then we are looping through each digit. And so that index is called column index. The index that is in our string array is, is called, this is raw index. And then for each of these indexes, we are looping again through each letter to check if it's a digit or a, a uh, character. And if so, we are just storing them into num number array and character array, which we declared at the start of our program. Okay, so that's what we have for that one. Um, we don't no longer need the index. So now what I need to do is actually um, tell the user the number of lines they've entered just for statistical purposes, the number of lines uh, you entered where, and I'm going to use number of lines. number of lines and the number of digits and then okay so this loop is looping for the digits and this is so I'm gonna put the numbers first and then I'll loop through each array so this is number of lines number of digits number of number of letters and then I'm going to need another loop for looping through the string array so like this the lines entered where and um, I just need to kind of make this look better um, and this has to change into string so running from so we are printing the results of the string array then we are printing a number array then we are printing our character array so three arrays that we created in this program. I'm going to run the program and first I need to copy this data so that I can enter it. Um, okay, so when I say eight and I'll paste my data. Okay, and yeah, it seems like I have a problem with my program. I forgot to change my loop there and normally that will definitely give me a problem. I'll run eight and then I'll paste. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going to copy this data again and okay so let's see what is happening i've entered eight lines and it told me that there were eight lines in your program 36 digits and 80 characters so the lines that were entered so if you wanted to instead of saying zero one two because for the user they don't understand why we are printing line zero for us the programmer that we understand the indexes start from zero so you might want to change that and then um kind of give it a just just for display purposes, make it start from one. You can just uh, index will still be the same, but the display will look different. God, I should stop pasting. Um, okay, so this will uh, tell us the line one is this is line one. This is basically just printing out whatever we've got in each index in our array which were eight lines and the digits there were 36 um, digits and 80 characters and that's it thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one